Hi, and this is a quick little tutorial about downloading video or images. So we're going to click Advanced Image Search, just like we did in class. And we're going to go, of course, I'm going to look for my funny kitten. Not funny mitten, funny kitten, nice typo. Uh, filtered by license, I'm going to do labeled for reuse. I could also do label for commercial reuse, which means that I could charge money for it. But I'm not going to charge money for it. So click labeled for reuse, Google search. Oh, look, there's a funny kitten. I like that cat. It looks kind of like mine. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this frame, and we'll talk about why we do that in a little bit. Um, I'm going to click on all sizes. brings up the largest size, which is the original size. Now, there's two ways to download this. I can click download the large image. Yeah, But what if I'm looking at a site that doesn't have a download button? I can right-click on it, and click Save Image As, go to my desktop, and do Funny kitten and hit enter. And I'm going to replace the funny kitten that I already have. So that's that. Now I'm going to go over to my presentation software. I'm going to click insert picture. And I don't know why that disappears, but picture from file. Okay, and there's my funny kitten file from my desktop. I click open and insert. Now there are two ways that I can go about this. First way, I can insert text, which for this one is a little bit strange. It inserts it in the middle. But there's my text, and I put the URL right there. You can see the URL. What I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to make it white. Why am I going to make it white? There you go. So you can see it clearly. Like I said, this um, presentation software is a little bit different than Microsoft Word, um, so you can just add a text box and make it a contrasting color. The other thing that you could do uh, is add a new slide and format it maybe like this. We'll call this References, and then I'm going to say Slide 1, so I know exactly which slide I'm referencing, and then the reference, the URL to that. Now if you come over here, the reason we got rid of that frame is so that we can get straight to that URL. If you look back, the images.google.com, all of this is unnecessary. If we take this URL and copy and paste it over here, that's what we get. So we just want the short URL. We don't want that big long one. So we always remember to click remove frame. Hope that helps you all out. Have a great weekend. Bye.